Big house price crash coming. There is no doubt in my mind that a big house price crash correction is coming. And the news of the swap interest rate rise, i.e. what the future interest rate rises are predicted to be, the news of that going up only cemented my belief that there is possibly a 30% plus correction coming soon. Now, here are a few reasons why. I would love your thoughts in the comments. Do you think a big house price crash is coming? When do you think the big house price crash is coming? And what do you think it will mean? Okay, so reason number one, I think a big house price crash is coming is because there's been no real correction since 2008. That is nearly 15 years ago. And, you know, cycles look like they last 15, 17, however many years around about that figure. So naturally, in the natural cycle, it's about time. That's reason number one. Reason number two, I believe there was a somewhat artificial boom after lockdown. Like, be honest and let me know in the comments. Did you really believe that house prices would go up more than 10% a year one, two, three years after lockdown. Because I did not predict that. Um, looking back, it's kind of obvious. There was a massive undersupply of house sales. You know, more demand, lower supply. Of course, generally speaking, from an economics point of view, supply and demand, low supply, high demand increases prices. So who would have thought that house prices would have gone up double digit a year um, since March 2020, but they did. Um, Rick has said here, hey, big shout out to Rick Gannon, my friend who's um, very knowledgeable in property. He has said the new stamp duty reductions will only keep the market strong. He reckons we still have four years to go on the 18 year cycle. Rick, um, I'm, I don't quite agree, but I hear you. I definitely think that stamp duty um, no stamp duty on residential under 250 and no stamp duty. I think it's 425. Is it for first time buyers? I think that is definitely going to help the market a bit. I think it's great news, actually, that first time buyers are given a bit more help to get into the property market. So I do agree, Rick, that that will help the market. But um, I think you're calling the cycle a bit late, my personal opinion. Um, 2008 was the last recession, so we're pretty much, well, the last housing crash, so we're pretty much 15 years from there. So you say four years, that makes it 19 years. I'm just going to call it a little bit earlier than you, Rick, and here's why. This is the big reason why, and I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Interest rates. So the swap rate's just gone up over 5%, i.e. the predicted future interest rate rise. The pound is as weak as it's been in 40 odd years. What's pretty much the best way to strengthen your currency? Raise interest rates, attract foreign investment. Uh, so they're probably going to have to put interest rates up to attract foreign investment. Um, of course, interest rates are also going to have to go up to combat inflation. So we now have a double pressure on interest rates to go up, and that could push them up high, hard, and fast. And what's interest rates gonna do? It's gonna make mortgages a lot more expensive. More expensive mortgages means lower affordability of houses, means they have to sell fast. When, when houses need to be sold fast, they're sold cheap. When houses are sold cheap, it starts a slight decline in the market. So let me just list this one more time. I'm going to list it start to finish. What I just said there, I would love your thoughts. OK, so because interest rates look like they're going to go double high because of really weak pound, interest rate rises will attract investment from overseas and therefore strengthen the pound. And to combat inflation, which is really high, looks like we could have sharp interest rate rises. Let's be honest, interest rates have been superficially low for more than a decade. The long term interest rates might be five to six percent. They've been under half a percent for 10 years. It's unsustainable. OK, so interest rates rise means the repayments on mortgages 
goes higher. Everyone's cost of living is much higher already. No one's on the masses, you know, in the working class, middle class. No one's really got any affordability because of the soaring cost of living. So your mortgages just go up half a percent, a percent. That's quite a lot of money. That can be a hundred pound a month or more on your mortgage. So everyone's mortgages are going to go really high. They can't afford to um, continue to pay their mortgages. So they have to sell. There'll be a bit of equity in from the previous market. They'll decide to sell. They need to sell cheap because their mortgages are really high. They sell fast. When you sell fast, the trade-off is you sell cheap. Then as soon as new prices come onto the market that are lower, that sets the new low. And that, that happens really really quickly, by the way. It's funny because house prices can do this for years and then go up a lot really quickly or down a lot really quickly. And in 2008, the nearly 30% drop in the housing market happened in about six months in Peterborough. It didn't happen over six years, didn't happen slowly. When prices go, they usually go hard. So this is my belief on why I think that the big house price crash is coming. It's been due. It's been nearly 15 years. It's the natural cycle anyway. Um, yes, Rick. Rick knows a great book on this called Cash in a Property Crash. Rick Gannon co-authored a book with myself. It's called Cash in a Property Crash. Do you know what? I never shout out my books. I should. Um, Rick and I wrote a book called Cash in a Property Crash. How to cash in on a crash. Do you love to learn how to cash in on a crash? Go and get cash in a property crash. <laughs> Amazon, Audible, Kindle, you name it. Now, actually, Rick and everyone, that was going to be my next point. It's not all bad. So, um, look, every action has an equal and opposite reaction and every upside has a downside. So if there is a crash in the property market, you know, some people are going to have to sell their properties off cheaper. But let's be honest, there's been so much growth over the last 15 years, they'll probably end up being net OK anyway. So it probably won't be a disaster. But who benefits when properties go down in price? The buyers of the properties. So actually, you have an amazing opportunity to buy assets at fire sale prices. Might you agree right now that being a first time buyer or a first time investor is quite hard because prices are high? Let me... Give me a yes in the comments if you'd agree with that. Do you think property prices are quite high? It's quite high to get on the housing ladder. Well, if you believe that to be true, would you rather properties were cheaper and would they be more affordable to you and give a higher rate of um, return called yield um, if they were cheaper? The answer is yes. So you don't want to buy at the peak. You want to buy when they're dropping. Now, by the way, I got taught by a billionaire when prices are rising, you add value. And when they're falling, you buy below value. So you can actually buy in any part of the cycle. And I buy in all parts of the cycle. But my best purchasing, my best opportunity, my best return, my best yield, my best cash flow is always on the way down. So I believe we're on the way down. So I believe you should be ready. Here's how you can be ready. Number one, obviously closely watch house prices. Number two, maybe go and do some viewings in your local area um, and see what kind of properties are on the market. Number three, make sure your credit is good. Make sure that you um, start building up a maybe a deposit pot or build a network. Start educating yourself on property. Great place to start is the book Cash in a Property Crash because it is coming. And the next thing is you've got to protect your cash. You've got to get rid of money and you've got to get it into assets and investments. So money is one of the worst assets right now. Money has probably gone down 30% in the last three years since uh, the lockdown. So imagine I gave you this deal. Hey, give me 100 grand. And in three years, I'll give you back 70 grand. <laughs> what, what do you think? Yeah. Um, no, you would never do that. But that's been the deal with putting money in the bank. Because inflation is so much higher than interest. So you actually completely need to forget money. You need minimum money just to pay your general overheads and living. And then you need to get out of money and into assets and investments. And property and real estate is probably the safest. It's the most useful. It's the most long term proven. Goes up about 100% every 12 to 15 years. It 
1952, the average house price was £1,800. Now it's approaching quarter of a million. If you track that, that's probably doubling every 12 to 15 years. So, quick summary. The more you learn, the more you earn. So learn a bit about property. Buy cash in a crash. Buy property investing secrets. Bit of research on how to buy under market value. How to buy through estate agents. Buy locally. Um, People are putting in the comments gold, Bitcoin, things like that. The problem with them is they're an investment, they're not an asset. So an investment means it might pay a return in the future, but an asset produces cash flow. So gold and Bitcoin, while I'm not against them, they're nowhere near as good as real estate because real estate goes up in value, but it also pays a net income stream. And exactly right, you can fix your mortgages if you are a bit worried about the mortgages going up. You can get five-year fixes. Mark and I have a... 12-year fix, I believe that to be the case, um, on, well, part um, fixed rate. So you can hedge some of these things that you're worried about. But the great thing about property is it goes up in value over time, doubles every 12 to 15 years, but it also produces an income. Gold doesn't produce an income. Bitcoin doesn't produce an income. They're just capital. So you want capital and income. So if you get your money out of cash and savings and money, you're saving that 10% a year drop. You put it into property which protects it from inflation. It doubles every 12 to 15 years. You can get leverage with the mortgage. You can fix that mortgage and you can get rental income. And you're very likely in the next one to four years, let's say, be able to buy really cheap. So this is the way to not just survive the housing crash, but thrive and profit from the housing crash. You know, I made my most money, my most profit. I bought my best deals in 2008. I only wish I could have gone back to 2009 and bought another 100. Can't remember how many we bought in 08, 09. It was probably around 50, maybe more, but I would have loved to have bought 500 because you don't know it was the best year for buying until you've passed it. But then after 2009, the market started recovering. They started going up. I mean, I was buying flats and houses for between 35 and 70 grand that are now worth nearly quarter of a million. Okay, some of them are about the 200 range. That's proof. If I could go back in time, you know, people say, if you could go back to one year in history ever, all right, I might go back to 1088 because all land and property was worth 1 million then. <laughs> so I'd just buy it all. But realistically, I would go back to 2008 and I would buy hundreds of properties because they were bloody cheap. The new 2008 is coming. I think it's less than four years. Rick thinks it's four years. Rick's written the book, Cash in a Property Crash, if you want to check that out. But it's coming and you need to be ready. So you, the more you learn, the more you earn. Don't get ready, be ready. See the upside in where the masses see the downside. And you could build a future pension, a future retirement. You be could become financially independent or free for the rest of your life in the coming house price crash. So my question to you is, are you going to take advantage? Are you talking or are you doing? Talk doesn't cook rice. <laughs> to know but not to do is not to know. So if you'd like to learn how to action, how to implement, how to build assets that produce recurring income, how to diversify assets, protect yourself from interest rates, inflation, I recommend you join Rob.team. Now, Rob.team is my private members area. It costs you less than 20 pence a day, less than a large coffee a month. So I'm doing my bit to give back through Rob.team. I'm teaching you what you should have learned in school, but didn't. I'm teaching you what your parents should have taught you, but they didn't know. I'm teaching you what the system should teach you, but it doesn't want you to know. So if you open a new page on the internet right now um, and type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, Rob dot team. It's as easy as that to join. Um, join the many thousands of members who are already there. Um, you can cancel any time. No ongoing contract will cost you less than 20 pence a day, less than one large cup of coffee per month. And you can get the nine module 10 hour how to invest series. This would cost you more than 200 pounds separately, but it's in rob.team. Learn how to invest in real estate, in gold, in some cryptos, in a business, in the stock market. Diversify your um, and de-risk your investing. A nine module, 10 hour series for less than 20 pence a day. Cancel any time, no ongoing contract. That's a deal. So if you like deals, 
Um, go and join Rob.team right now by typing in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Someone has said it's worth 10 times the investment. Thank you very much for that kind comment. We're also doing a money saving marathon coming up in a couple of weeks. We're going to do about five or six hours of deep dive content on all the areas in your spending that you can save a lot of money. I also teach you how to raise money. We've got a how to raise money in property and business masterclass. You can actually do no money down investing, you know. If you'd like to learn how to raise money for business and property, there's a masterclass live coming on rob.team. You can get all of this for less than 20 pence a day, less than the cost of a large coffee. So open up a new page on the internet. Go and take advantage of all of these opportunities in rob.team and just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, rob.team, into a new window um, on any page on the internet. You can join. It's really quick to join. It's easy to join. It's all delivered online. You get access to a private WhatsApp group with me and many of the members. We do live events. You, we have a multiple streams of property income event that you can get an upgraded ticket. You don't have to pay for the ticket, the VIP ticket. And we have the Recurring Income Summit two-day online masterclass where you get the paid ticket free. So you get VIP upgraded paid tickets for free on many of the events that I run. Um, you get courses, resources and masterclasses. The tax saving masterclass I did with my very expensive accountant who's helped me save millions over the decade in tax. It's all there in rob.team. So what are you waiting for? When all is said and done, more is said than done. Go join rob.team. Just type in R-O-B dot T E. A-M. I will see you there. There is no risk to join because there's hundreds of hours of content going back since the start, but there's no ongoing contract. You can cancel any time. So you could go join, gobble up all the content and then cancel. You could try and gamify me. I'll tell you this though, I'm doing so much content every week now, you'll never catch me up, but you can try all for less than 20 pence a day. Because remember this, the more you learn, the more you earn. It's not about how much money you make, it's how much knowledge you gain in the process. Getting lots of nice comments about Rob.team from all the Rob.team members. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you all. So quick summary, just while you're joining Rob.team, um, I am going to do some property related content in Rob.team. I'll get some property experts in to do a masterclass. I've actually got a no money down investing expert trainer in Progressive. He's going to come and do a how to raise finance masterclass, how to do no money down deals masterclass as a guest. All right, cool, cool. So go join Rob.team. Type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, Rob.team. All right, quick question then before we go. I'm going to do a summary. Do you think a house price crash is coming? Give me a yes or a no in the comments. When do you think it's coming? Do you think it's, Rick says, uh, four years left. I'm going to just say a bit earlier than Rick. I'm going to say within the next three years. I do think the stamp duty uh, assistance will help keep the market a bit more buoyant because first time buyers are going to have a little bit more reason and a little bit more ease to get into the market. But the reason I think that a big house price crash is coming within the next three years, and by the way, you shouldn't wait. Don't get ready, be ready. The reason I believe is interest rates look like they're going to go much higher. Um, and there's double pressure on interest rate rise, by the way. Big inflation, one of the ways to curb that is push interest rates up. So that's pressure number one on interest rates. But pressure number two on interest rates is really weak pound. A really weak pound means that basically um, we look weak and the pound is a weak investment for um, international other countries. So if we increase interest rates, i.e. we pay more interest on investing in the pound, then you'll get overseas investment. Um, so that's another pressure on interest rates. So if interest rates have double pressure and they go up quite high, what will happen is all these variable rate mortgages where people have got really used to paying £100, £200 or £300 a month on a mortgage, which is really unrealistically low. All of a sudden, they could be four, five, six, seven hundred pounds a month. They're going to get a shock. They can't afford it. When they can't afford their mortgages, they're like, shit, we better sell. Oh, we've got a bit of equity because of the last growth. Yeah, we're going to sell. They want to sell quick because they're um, pinched. Their finances are pinched. So when they sell quick, how do they sell? They sell cheap. Because if you want to sell quick, the trade-off is you sell cheap. So they sell cheap. Investors come in and buy cheap. 
Then as these lower prices catch up on the market and you can see sold prices and they're cheaper. And when else shit, the market's going down and they sell cheaper again to get out of the market. Because remember, be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. And when the prices come down, the masses are fearful. And they, they almost create a self-fulfilling prophecy of prices going down because they panic and because of the fear. This pushes markets down fast. Corrections are usually fast, like a vertical slide. And I reckon that correction could be 30%. I really do. It was nearly 30% in 2008. And I see more pressure on interest rate rises. I see more pressure in the economy than I did in 2008. So I actually think there's a chance, I can't say for sure, but there's a chance that this crash could be bigger than the last one in 2008. So I'd like to ask you your thoughts. I'm going to get in the comments, going to have a little bit of a chat with you. Do you think a big house price crash is coming? When do you think it's coming? And how big do you think it's going to be? And let me ask you this one more time. Can you see the opportunity? Most people see house price crash as bad. Most people see inflation as bad. Most people see interest rates rise as bad. But here's the thing. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And every upside has a downside and downside has an upside. So high interest rates means investment into the UK from foreign countries, means good return on cash money. And if you're a money lender, high interest rates is really good. So there's upsides to that. High inflation actually means if you've got debt, your debt is getting paid down. So high inflation is good for debt erosion. This is why the rich get richer when inflation is high. Because the rich have assets. People think money makes you rich. Money does not make you rich. It does not. Do you know people who earn a lot but spend a lot? You all know people who earn a lot but spend even more. So you could earn three grand and spend two grand. Or you can earn 20 grand and spend 22 grand a month. Money does not make you rich. Money helps you buy and spend more, but it doesn't make you rich. What makes you rich is assets. You have assets that appreciate in capital value. You have assets that produce income. So what the rich do is they take money and they put it into assets. What the broke do is they take money and they put it into liabilities and expenses. So if you, any money you have, you put into assets, you protect it from inflation, you get forced capital growth, you get income, uh, and you get to buy assets lower as price is correct. So you can actually beat and win with inflation, beat and win with interest rate rises, beat and win with house price crashes. Because the rich know how to leverage a house price crash. They know how to leverage interest rates. They know how to leverage inflation. Because the more you learn, the more you earn. And this is why I set up Rob.team. To teach you what you didn't learn in school. To teach you what your parents didn't know. To teach you what the system knows but doesn't want you to know. Uh, so Rob.team is a financial education platform for winners and beginners, masters and disasters to help you make, manage and multiply money, start and scale your business, get better financial education and knowledge, build assets, digital and physical, and build multiple streams of recurring income and you've got daily courses, resources, and masterclasses. Sunday sessions every day. If you join now, you can jump in on the masterclass on how to get leads and clients for free. That's coming up in 24 hours. If you join right now, you're going to get a deep dive live masterclass with me. I know eight or nine ways to get leads and clients for free. And I'll teach you them all. This is what you're going to get on a regular basis. The 21 ways to monetize social media masterclass. There's lots of opportunity, but you need to educate. The more you learn, the more you earn. Learn, earn, invest. So I see you in Rob.team. Just type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, Rob.team, into a new window. Here's the great news. I'm giving it to you virtually for free as my way to give back. Um, by the way, free advice is worth every penny, but when you pay, you pay attention. Some people say, Rob, why don't you do it for free then if you're giving so much to the world? Well, I do free content every day on social media. Probably do on average five or six good deep dive pieces of free content a day. But remember, free advice is worth every penny. You get given a book, you don't read it. You buy a book, like Cash in a Property Crash, 
you actually read it. So it's just really an admin fee to get you to pay attention because when you pay, you pay attention. But it's a tiny amount of money. It's less than 20 pence a day. You can cancel any time with no ongoing contract. I can't do any more than that for you other than help you in rob.team. So type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M into a new window. House price crash is coming. It's going to be big. It's going to be hard. It's going to be fast. There's going to be blood on the streets, but there's going to be opportunity because more millionaires are made in a recession than any other time in the cycle. Be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Observe the masses and do the opposite. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's keep this discussion going. Are house prices going to drop? Do you agree? When are they going to drop? How much are they going to drop? And can you see the opportunity? Let's get chatting.